everybody, welcome back to another awesome day, another awesome vlog. One of the most magical things at Disneyland, of course, other than the rides, is the food. The food is incredible, and every time you go there, you have to find something special to eat, either a snack or a meal that's your favorite that you've been waiting for until you actually get to visit the resort. And one of the number one favorites is the mac and cheese cone. You can buy this at the Cozy Cone Motel in Cars Land, and it is incredible. Today, I'm gonna teach you how to make it at home so that you can enjoy this snack anytime you'd like. Let's get started. In order to make this scrumptious snack, you will need one tube of pizza crust dough, you will need one pound of elbow macaroni, a quarter cup of butter, a quarter cup of flour, one cup of milk, two cups of shredded cheese, a half a cup of cream cheese, salt and pepper to taste, and some bacon cooked and crumbled. The first thing we're gonna do is boil some water in order to cook our elbow macaroni. While I wait for the water to boil for my macaroni, I'm going to go ahead and start working on the pizza crust in order to make the cone. You'll need a flat surface to work on and some flour in order to keep the dough from sticking. You're also going to need a rolling pin in order to roll your dough out. I'm gonna put a little bit of flour on top as well so that the rolling pin doesn't stick to it. And a little bit of flour on my rolling pin. I'm gonna take it to the edges of my board so that it's easier to work with. I'm now gonna take a pizza cutter and I'm going to cut one inch strips to work with. In order to make the cone, I'm going to use a 10 by 12 piece of cardstock. I'm gonna roll it up so that one end comes to a point and one end is open up like a cone. Just like that. I'm gonna take a piece of tape to hold it in place. And I'm gonna take some scissors and trim the top edge so that it is even all the way around. Just like that. Now I'm gonna take a piece of foil and I'm going to wrap the foil around the cone, covering it completely. I'm gonna tuck the top pieces in. and fold the bottom piece up like this. I've added a small amount of butter to my cone just to keep the bread from sticking. And I'm going to take my first strip and I'm going to start at the bottom and completely go over the bottom to cover that piece. And then I'm just gonna start wrapping this around and overlapping each time. As these cook, the edges are going to stick together and make a wonderful bread cone. Just like that. I have two cones ready to go. I've preheated my oven to 425 degrees. I'm going to cook them for 10 minutes, but I'm gonna turn them over in approximately five minutes 
in order to make sure they cook evenly. Let's get them in the oven. My water's boiling, so it's time to add the noodles. Make sure you continuously stir your noodles so that they don't stick to the pot. Next, I'm gonna add a fourth a cup of butter and over medium heat, I'm going to begin to melt it while everything else is cooking. As my butter is melting, I'm going to slowly add in a quarter cup of flour. Next, I'm gonna slowly add in one cup of milk. And I wanna continue stirring the entire time to try to avoid lumps as much as possible. Next, I'm going to add my two cups of cheese and a half a cup of cream cheese into my milk mixture, stirring continuously as it melts over medium heat. looking delicious our noodles are cooked so they are ready for our cheese sauce to go on top and this is going to be some delicious mac and cheese let's add the noodles in i've drained the pasta and now let's add it in Gosh, this smells so delicious. All right, let's check on our cones and see if they are ready for us to put our mac and cheese in and top it off with some delicious bacon bits. Looks delicious. All right, let's scoop some of this mac and cheese in here. Oh my gosh, this is just like what you get at the Cozy Cone, but you can make it in your own house. What a delicious treat this is going to be. Oh my goodness. So I'm gonna top it off here. I'm gonna add some bacon to the top. And we have a delicious mac and cheese cone just like you would get from the Cozy Cone Motel in Disney California Adventure. And it is delicious. All right, everybody, I'm gonna end the video here. I hope you enjoyed this. This is a little bit different doing a recipe, but I thought knowing how to make one of your favorite treats from Disneyland or Disney California Adventure might be kind of fun. So if there's something else you're interested in seeing, maybe a snack that you just absolutely love at Disneyland or Disney California Adventure, and you'd really love to be able to make it home, comment down below. I'll see if I can find the recipe or get it while I'm at Disneyland sometime and show you exactly how to make it so that you can enjoy something delicious at home when you can't be at Disneyland. 
Thank you so much for watching our video. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.